Sejauh apa potensi bisnis data center di tengah ledakan data digital sudah hadir di studio kami, Studio CNBC Indonesia, Ashraf Higazi, Sanggup Presiden Director of Legrang Indonesia. Halo, Ashraf. How are you today? Oh, great, great. Hello, Abraham. Thank you for having me today with you. Uh, okay, and then we start from the first question for you. And then, uh, what, what is Legrang current business like in Indonesia, especially in serving the domestic data center market? Sure. Maybe let me first start by what is Le Grand and what we are doing worldwide before jumping into the uh, Indonesia context. Mm. So we are the global, global specialist in electrical and digital building infrastructure. Worldwide, we did last year around 8 billion uh, euro. Uh, we are around 38,000 employees, to give you an idea of, uh, of the size. Uh, and we operate in, a, in a four different markets, residential, commercial, industrial, and data center, of course. And data center represent 15% of our sales, to give you an idea of what we are, uh, uh, what is Le Grand today. Then after, knowing this, how do we uh, operate in Indonesia? We follow uh, the same structure with four business units that have a dedicated team to address the market. And so we do a lot of uh, certification training to deploy our team, but we also have an important industrial footprint. And this is a very important part because we have our own factories in Indonesia, and this helps us to manufacture fast, even uh, manufacture more, and it helps us to cut the lead time, because the lead time is a very important uh, aspect of data center. Uh, the players in data center wants to produce quickly, and we can support in doing that. Uh, okay, and what does the current data digitalization explosion look like and the urgency of building high density data centers? Okay, so, uh, it's actually, you can see it everywhere, mm. okay? Because data is everywhere. So what we call data uh, explosion, it has, already, it's al it has already started in 2020. If you look from 2020 to 2023, the data have already uh, been multiplied, the data exchange have already been multiplied by 2.5, mm -hmm. from 1,000 exabyte to 2,500 exabyte. It's now, if you look at our lifestyle, right, uh, and uh, the place where we live or where we work or where we manufacture, those places are using more and more data. We are living in digital buildings. Our factories are 4.0. We are driving cars now that are also uh, charge, charge, charging cars. And Electric then maybe car. they will drive by, by themselves, yeah. right? So there are a lot of data that are being consumed. So it will continue to increase. And the last step that is very important, the last mega trend, it's of course artificial intelligence. And artificial intelligence is training on a lot of data, so it's consuming even more data. So it's fully reasonable to think that in the next three years, data exchange will even increase, and far more. Now, what is the emergency of building data, uh, high density data center? First, maybe let's define quickly what is high density data center. Um, High density means to have a high level of power per unit of space. So it means with the same space, you are able to power more. So when we look at data center, it means that with the same space, you are able to compute at a higher level, you are able to store more data. So a high density data center is a data center that has the capacity to treat and compute a lot of data. The urgency, I will say, the urgency is more on making sure mm. that the design that we have today for those data centers will still be relevant in the months or years to come. Because the data center industry is an industry that is moving very fast, there is a lot of innovation, and the needs of today might not be the needs of tomorrow. So when you design the data center, you need to make sure that you embed the new technology to make your data center more reliable and more efficient. Okay, so how about the uh, adoption in Indonesia about the data center? I mean, it's, it's, it's of course, the, the data okay, center industry. Okay, high density industry. data center. Yeah, the data center industry in Indonesia yeah. is already very big. Huh? Mm. Uh, uh, in terms of co-location data center, you have already on around 150 megawatts uh, installed. So, so, so it's quite big. Now, the real question is, where will we go? Uh, what will uh, the data center of tomorrow look? Uh, and what will be uh, the design mm. that, will, uh, that the players will... Uh, will decide to have. Ah, okay. okay, okay, so how does your company integrate the latest technology in high density data center buildings? So this is actually very important. So until now, mm. the average uh, power of rack worldwide is maybe between eight to 12 kilowatts. And in Indonesia, it's 
maybe around seven to eight kilowatts. But in the months to come, you will have a big part of the equipment and rack that will become high density, more around 40 kilowatt to 50 kilowatt, and part of it might even go to 100 kilowatt. This is very important because uh, it means that in terms of design, you need to adapt. So what we, how do we uh, support? We support by innovation because we invest 5% of our uh, sales into R&D. We support by doing acquisition in data center, acquiring company that specialize in data center. We have acquired 17 company in data center worldwide mm. since 2010. And we combine all those innovation either from uh, our uh, R&D uh, internal or external acquisition, we combine it together to have one global solution. And with this, we can uh, bring, uh, I give you an example, we have an AI pod, so I will not enter too much in the technical detail, but it's a modular solution that can be deployed very quickly to answer to the need of, uh, uh, of uh, the data center players. Ah, okay, okay, that's right. And what step is uh, Legrand taking to support data centers in Indonesia to make them more efficient? So when you talk about efficiency, uh, there is one uh, maybe figures to know is that 40% of the consumption of data center is linked to cooling. Mm. And this is very important because data center players, they want to uh, maintain their server at a certain temperature using, and using in the same time less energy. Mm. Uh, uh, so to uh, help the data center be performant, we offer uh, passive cooling and active cooling. But as the months come and as inter artificial intelligence is coming in the business, the market is going more towards active cooling now. So that's one part that we do. The second part that we do that is very important is all, we always encourage our customer uh, to measure as much as possible all the data that they have and to have uh, measure at all the steps of the, of the electrical infrastructure. So our tools uh, and our products can help uh, delivering data mm to tell to the customer what's the situation in his uh, premises. And in a way you can see it, it's like those products are giving you the heartbeat of the data center. It will tell you here the temperature is too high or here the power, you can save some energy. So that's, that's what we do. We focus on cooling and measuring.